to One Left Gym. The B-pillar area of the Bronco is a really large bear area. I wonder what options there were for making this area a little more exciting. I saw these being sold and some videos of them being applied and all I could think of was, why circles? It's not a theme on the vehicle that needs repeating. It just seems kind of lazy to me. So I saw this as an opportunity to see if I could make something better. But hey, if you do like the circles version, I'll provide links to some of the options on Amazon in the description below. Before I could go ahead and make anything, I needed to get the shape of the B-pillar space. I just layered masking tape on it, making sure the shape was completely covered to the edges, and then pulled it off as one piece. I then stuck my B-pillar shape to some paper so I could scan it, but my scanner wasn't big enough to scan the entire thing. So I drew a bunch of lines on it so that I had a lot of reference points that could be pieced together from two scans later. Once I had a single image to work with, it was then a simple matter of drawing straight lines to outline the shape. For the new design, I took some inspiration from an old Datsun 280ZX I had and added a bunch of horizontal boxes to it. I thought it gave a little bit of a retro look. I also added the Bronco text to the bottom, which will present its own challenges later because of the letters with floating inner pieces. If you want this B-pillar design, a link to it will be in the description below. I'm making the B-pillar covers from 16th inch black ABS plastic sheets I got on Amazon. Before I do any cutting though, I added some super thin 3M double sided adhesive. I'll provide links to all materials I used in this project in the description below in case you want to make your own. I'm going to be cutting these out on a laser, so I removed the liner that came on it first. And I then covered it with a paper application tape that will protect the surface better during cutting. This is the stuff you would use for applying vinyl decals. I use it all the time to protect material surfaces when laser cutting and engraving. The ABS plastic cuts like butter in the laser. Doesn't smell like butter though. It's pretty nasty, but we have a good exhaust system to handle the fumes. The only tricky part about taking these out is the letters. A little masking tape will keep everything together for now though. I wasn't quite sure how to approach this part. I had to keep the inner pieces of the letters registered correctly, and I also had to get all the app tape on the front side peeled off. After I finished the first one, I think I figured out the process and did a better job of prepping the second one. I don't think I mentioned it, but you can see that the ABS sheet has some nice texture on it that's pretty similar to the texture on the Bronco's existing B-pillar. I had another idea while I was making these. Since I already had the electronic design file, I cut some pieces of vinyl that's a really close match for the Bronco's cactus gray color. I plan on giving my wife some choices before committing to the final install. The first and obvious option was to just apply the B-pillar cover as is. Sort of a subtle black on black look. I wasn't crazy about it though as the letters really didn't stand out. My wife liked the look but thought the same thing about the letters. I had a feeling this would be the case so that's why I had some vinyl cut for this next option. The idea is to apply vinyl to the factory B-pillar and then apply the new cover over it allowing the color to show through all the openings. I will admit that I rushed this part because it wasn't going to be a permanent install yet. It came out like crap, but it was perfectly fine to see what the final install would look like. 
I liked this look a lot better. The letters were nice and visible. My wife also liked it better, but wasn't sure about the gray behind all the horizontal openings. So back to the drawing board to make one last option. I cut a smaller piece of vinyl that would only show through the letters. And yep, we both thought this was the winner. The insulation was pretty much what you'd expect by now. I first had to get the vinyl applied to the factory B-pillar. It's hard to see, but the vinyl does have a clear application tape on top that needs to be removed. If you notice that I have a thin gray piece of vinyl that surrounds the main piece, that's just there to make sure it's lined up correctly. It doesn't actually get transferred, or if it did, it would just get peeled off. Now it's pretty much just peel and stick. I already had removed the adhesive liner, and I just had to square up the bottom and then apply pressure working from the bottom up. You can see I still have yellow mask tape covering the front of the letters. This is to make sure all the separate inner letter pieces stay where they belong. The adhesive is really strong, but just in case, I was careful to make sure I applied pressure to each piece as I peeled away the masking tape. The same process was done for the other side. The insulation was pretty anticlimactic after all the prep, lasering, and test fitting. Overall though, I am really happy with the look. Yes. I think this was a really good appearance mod. I thought the big flat B-pillar area was really boring looking before. I think this gives it some character. Now that it's done, what does my wife think? Well, we already knew that, but I'll add that this is her second favorite mod so far. The blacked out wheels are still her favorite though. Anyway, just a reminder, don't forget to check out the description below for all the materials used and also the design file in case you want to try something like this. And as always, see you later.